I'm standing here with a very happy NBK. I presume after so many months, you have finally won your first major international tournament in CSGO. How does it feel? You know, there's like a huge step between finishing second and third or fourth and between winning, so we're extremely happy about it. We finally managed to reach the highest place uh, on, uh, and finally, you know, get the gold medal, so we're extremely happy about it. You lost just one map throughout the, the whole tournament. Uh, did it go as you expected? Uh, perhaps did you expect a more difficult final against Fnatic? Well, um, we prepared our games, like every single game. Uh, as you said, we lost against Nexus in the group stage. Uh, we weren't expecting such a good game from them, we were already played like, very well. And for the playoffs, we played FM Toxic, which was a really, uh, really good like, land overall because they won uh, on the quarterfinal. And they brought us to overtime on Nuke uh, on the second map. And finally, playing against Fnatic. Um, you know, we have so much experienced players coming from 1.6, so Stinger from Source. We all know them very well, and you know, we've been looking at their demos, and you know, we just tried to play our best against them, and we managed to play a really, really good game against them. Is there any difference between this very games team and the one that played in Copenhagen games uh, last week? Um, <laughs> There is, um, there was obviously more motivation because we knew all the teams coming here. Uh, we wanted to play Western Worlds because they beat us in four maps already, and we just wanted to have a revenge against them on uh, such land. And finally, we played Fnatic, but we never played on land, and they were, I mean, they are an extremely good team. So, you know, everyone could have been in the final between them and Axis, uh, Western Worlds. So we just had a really, really good game against them, made lots of good choices, and. You know, we managed to win them 2-0, we were super happy about it. Existence had, without a doubt, his best tournament uh, since switching to CSGO. Do you think that this is what you guys needed uh, to win a tournament? Um, obviously, you know, you have five players and if one is underperforming, it's going to bring the whole team down. Existence is often, you know, underrated by everyone in the community, but what I think is that he's kind of a mastermind. He's going to try to, you know, analyze all the tactics, have the game start perfectly in the team, like all the chemistry, all the setups and everything. And once everything is nice, he's going to be able to develop everything, all his potential and, you know, be a good player as he's been throughout the whole tournament. So that's super good to see him at his level. You also had a somewhat disappointing tournament at Copenhagen Games last weekend. Are you happy? Happier with the way you played uh, this weekend? Uh, I mean, we played way better, you know, uh, throughout the whole tournament. We managed to keep the momentum going since the first game until the end. And, you know, on Copenhagen Games, we managed to fight back through the gold bracket like three games in a row. Um, and then fought against Western Wolves. They had an amazing game. I mean, they just destroyed us. I don't have any overworlds because they were like playing extremely well. Uh, we couldn't do anything against them. Uh, you know, we're like super happy, as I said, winning this one because they were here, uh, Fnatic as well, and Nexus. There were many, many good teams. Um, you know, I mean, I don't have many words. We're just like really, really happy. Uh, a lot of things happened this weekend. NIP lost for the first time. They ended up losing the, the whole tournament you guys won your first major uh, tournament it, could this be the start of a new era <laughs> well maybe it's gonna be you know a new year and like, it, it started with NFP dominating everyone and they just were coming very very strong as they were in the 1.6 uh, we won a tournament as well which is you know surprising for the 1.6 fans I guess because you know we ended up second and third like every single time so we we're going to try to keep the momentum going and try to, you know, make the thing again on the EMS Finals where we're going to face Annexis in the first game and normally NIP in the semi-final, if I'm right. Um, you know, we're just going to try to keep the thing going because we're playing a really, really strong round. We're going to try to, you know, adapt, uh, make less mistakes as we get a lot of them. And uh, how are you going to prepare for the tournament in Germany? We're going to head back to Belgium, so we're going to have a four Four days, we come to four days. Uh, then we're gonna uh, fly to Cologne, I guess. 
and it's gonna be you know like a few days of boot camp and it's gonna be a normal preparation for us. If you defeat Anaxis uh, in the quarterfinals, you are probably going to face NIP in the semifinals. Uh, do you think that you are better prepared now to face them as you uh, compared to what you were last weekend at Copenhagen Games? Well, we are gonna be a bit more prepared. We're gonna have a sort of a momentum going as we want this weekend. Uh, they are a small map. We don't know how they're gonna arrive as the, their first loss. You know, they can like ever react super strong, which I'm expecting them to do because they're like amazing team with amazing players. But I think it can go either way. As I, I'm gonna say live is a good time, but you know, we're always ready to to bring our best games against them and sometimes I mean not sometimes all the times it went wrong and one day it's gonna go well for us. That's it for me. Do you have anything else that you want to say? Well first I'm gonna thank you for the interview. Uh, thanks my sponsors as always, uh, very games for all the support, uh, Razor for all the support as well. And thanks for everyone following us. I mean we're like super happy every single time to see nice comments. Well, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. See you next weekend.